Welcome back to Technique Wad. Today we're going to talk about how wide to grip for your snatch and also how to hook grip. All right, so my name is Doug Larson with the Barbell Shrug Podcast. This is Alex Macklin. He's one of our weightlifting coaches uh, for both facts and strength and conditioning here in Memphis, Tennessee, and also for the Barbell Shrug Podcast. And uh, he even helps coach in the six month muscle gain challenge. So, uh, what we're going to figure out today, like I said, is how wide to grip and how to do the hook grip. So, first we're going to talk about how wide to grip. So, if Alex picks up the bar, really depends on how long your arms are and where the bar is going to be hitting. When you're snatching, ideally the bar is going to hit you right on the crease of your hip. So if you got these little bones right here and then you get your pubic bone right there, you want to hit right in between those two things or exactly where you feel um, you're bending when you bend over. He's going to stand up nice and tall. We're basically going to put him into the power position, which means his shoulders are going to be back. He's going to have a vertical torso. Heels are down. He's just going to bend his knees a little bit. And we want to make sure that he's grabbing wide enough where with straight arms, the bar is hitting him right in that spot that I was talking about. Right now, right where his hip bends, if Alex bends forward a little bit, right where his hip bends is where the bar is touching him. So that's how wide Alex wants to grab. If he uh, moves his hands in and does it wrong for a second, if he moves his hands in like that, the closer his hands get together, the lower the bar comes down his thigh. The lower it hits on his thigh, the more likely it is to, to bounce forward and he's going to lose the weight in front of him. Okay? The closer the center of mass of the bar, the, excuse me, the closer the center of mass of the bar is to the center of mass of Alex, the better leverage he has and the heavier weight he can lift. So he wants the bar to hit him right on the crease of his hips. All right, so that's point number one, how wide to grab. Uh, number two, if, uh, if you can go ahead and pop the bar up and show him what your hook grip looks like. Alex is hook gripping the bar, which basically means his first two fingers are grabbing his thumb. What he's not doing is grabbing it regular like that. He's reaching around and grabbing it with those first two fingers and then his other two fingers are probably going to be on the bar still. So what that does is it keeps the bar from rolling out of your hand. What happens is as it, as it rolls out of my fingers, it rolls into my thumb, and as it rolls out of my thumb, it rolls into my fingers. Okay, so it can't roll away because it's rolling. It, it can't roll either way. As it rolls away from my fingers, it gets caught by my thumb and vice versa, as I said. So it basically helps you lift a hell of a lot more weight, and especially on a nice bar that spins very easily, it's going to keep you from, from losing your grip because the bar will just spin even if the weight isn't moving. So uh, those two points on hook grip and on um, how, to, how wide to grab. Am I missing anything? Good. Pretty much it. Uh, we also have more videos on all the rest of the uh, phases of the snatch, starting with the first pull, transition, second pull, and also a big overview on how to snatch now, if you want to check out those videos, you can go to barbellshrug.com and click on Technique Quad, and they'll be in the video library on that site.